Hey guys, Nick or YouTube back with another video and today it is time for yet again another die cast review. It has been so long as I move my light. It has been um five, six months now, something like that, since I did my last die cast review. And that was back when my name was Diecast Reviews 42. Um but I've recently gotten a couple cars that were just uh, too good to pass up to make a video on, and uh, I thought it'd be some good content for you guys who are new to my channel, and are uh, maybe diecast collectors yourself, and or just fans of NASCAR in general. Um, so as you can see, I have Dale Jr.'s Michael Baker car, the only car, well, the car he raced only once, and that was at Pocono, uh, which is where they went the past week in real life. And uh, this is a car he swept the uh, the second Pocono race in, which is pretty cool. And uh, as you can see, it is the Elite version. So I'll move the car out of the way, and I will show you guys the box first. Um, does come a lot of cool stuff. It is the Elite version, as you can see. Now the Elite versions have like the two separate things. You can the sleeve, you can take it out. So let me show you inside of the box. Well, actually, I'll just show you all the stuff in the box. There's really not anything too interesting let me take it out there we go so here you have the uh special autograph edition from steve latart and then right here is the card dale jr gold bowling 400 winner the uh elite certificate the, what i don't even know how to say it the certificate of authenticity there you go and then uh the dale jr um certified autograph from junior motorsports and then you see it comes with two winner stickers because he did sweep the weekend let me open this up i didn't take it out and it is the little broom you get since it is the uh addition for him sweeping the weekend let me just try to put everything back here in order and close that up so oh and i just dropped everything rip um i'll get that after already starting off great can't lie 10 out of 10 so far so, to get on to the die cast itself, let me put it right, right there, that's perfect, that's great, right there. So, as you can see, it is uh, the Michael Baker scheme, he only ran once, and again, that was only at Pocono, which is pretty cool to say the least. Um, as you see the side here, not much uh, race, move to the front, you see Dale Jr.'s autograph, pretty cool, has a sticker on it. And then on the front, it is hard to see. I'll lift it up. It has uh, a lot of dirt. That's really the only part that's raced about this. And then if I can open up the uh, top here, which is very hard to do. There it is. You see the tellers on it. That only comes with the Elite version of a die cast. So let me put my camera right back here on my stand if it'll work. No, is my stand not going to work right now? I need to buy a new one. Nope, it's going to fall over, isn't it? Hold on. Technical difficulties. It's been a while. Did I fix it? Yes, I fixed it. Don't fall. Thank you. So, on the side here, no, it's going to fall. I swear it's going to fall. So, not too much. Um, really nothing, to be honest. Just dirt and all that. See the Goodyear's a little bit rubbed off back here. And up here, not too much. And then the back. Oh, it's about to fall. Oh, no. And then DC Partners. And then on the right. Okay, well, my, cam my camera ended up falling over, so I'll just cut that out. So, as I was saying, on the back here, you have DC Partners, or DC Capital Partners, and then uh, Steve Letarte's logo with the uh, sticker on it. And uh, if I can get it to focus without the camera falling over, it is number 309 of 388. Um, I don't know if they did 388 on purpose, but if they did, I guess that's pretty cool. And then back to the front with all the dirt and stuff like that, so... I mean, it is a very nice die cast. It is a special die cast if you are a Dale Jr. collector. Uh, I got this for $212. Uh, might as well just tell you guys because there's only there's a, the only other one I saw was for $288. And uh, I don't know if I overpaid for it, but I'm guessing I didn't because it is an autograph by a really good retired crew chief and a very great driver. So, uh, other than the little incident we had... I think the first one in a while went pretty good. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, I definitely have uh, another really cool die cast to show you guys if you want to see that. Uh, let me know how it was. Let me know if you guys collect any die cast. 
and uh, I will see you guys later.